Hi guys, it's Alex from the Style Jungle here. And today we want to show you some of the best places in Moscow to try different food. So if you are in Moscow and you want to see something really special and just try really different cuisines from Russian chefs, this is the place to go. It's called Depo and as you can imagine from the name of this place, uh, this is the old Depo that was renovated and it has this kind of loft feeling about it and there are different restaurants around, there is a market over there, um, there is a food court as well and we'll show you five places that we like. So we are now in Tinto restaurant. Tinto is one of the fine dining restaurants uh, here in Depo and um, they are specialized in uh, Mediterranean cuisine. They have uh, quite a big menu I should say and uh, they specially recommend tuna and we just tried a couple of uh, different positions from the menu and we tried this tuna carpaccio with avocado and kale and uh, it's just absolutely stunning especially in a day like this one when it's really really hot outside if you feel like you want to have a starter i should recommend this it's just absolutely amazing you have it with bread you just put a little bit of salsa on top and then pieces of tuna and um, a strawberry is just absolutely delicious and to finish up your lunch you can also have a dessert and i can't recommend enough dessert with black caviar with avocado mousse and zac cup of rum ice cream. It is quite expensive I should say. It costs 1100 Russian rubles but it's actually definitely worth it. Very subtle taste and very delicious combination. I would definitely recommend you trying this one. So you can have uh, the menu in different languages. Of course Russian um, is uh, the main one but uh, there is an English menu over here as well and uh, you can have it in Chinese um, if you want. And um, of course you can pay with your uh, credit or debit card, there is no problem with that. Just to let you know that in Russia you can give a tip to the waiter, so if you feel like you want to say some extra thank you to the waiter, just feel free to do this, uh, this uh, will definitely make them uh, really happy. What really surprised me here that the first position in the menu is oysters and they are from New Zealand which is like as we know on different side of the world so if you're watching this from New Zealand this is the piece of our home here in Moscow and the taste of uh, New Zealand in this Tinta restaurant so really really surprised but I don't feel like oysters now I just wanted to try something different and uh, the lunch we had here was really really delicious So here is the next place. This is the cafe called Jamchuga, which is basically pearls, uh, if you translate it into English. And this started as a place to come for a dessert. They have the greatest selection of desserts for any kind of taste. You'll definitely find something really, really interesting. There is a special section in the menu dedicated to special architectural uh, desserts. So if you want to try something really, really special, this is a place to come but this is not only about desserts they're starting to expand their menu and they're um, adding more options so they have all day breakfast as well so if you want to have um, some other foods there you have uh, vegan options so they're trying to expand their menu so probably next time when you are here uh, it's going to be more um, food in here and they have a really good selection of coffee um, they have a really awesome flat white because it's uh, for some reason it's really difficult to find a great cup of flat white coffee so if you're into flat white just make sure to pop by and order one 
they have um, the special roast of coffee which is also really nice so I really recommend coming here even if you had lunch in, in a different um, cafe you can always come here to have a coffee or a dessert which is really cool. Depot is a very very big complex of different restaurants and uh, the market is here as well so and the food court as well so it can be actually divided into these three parts and we're now here at the food court we are at the corner called Barceloneta which is basically kind of Russian take on um, paella and uh, all the Spanish kind of cuisine and we just tried the gazpacho which as you know is a uh, soup from from uh, the Spanish cuisine and it has a very special look about it. Um, it, it is made from like a cocktail kind of style and um, they use quite a lot of seafood over here so um, it's basically very very interesting flavor, a lot of things mixed in this one and it is actually quite light. Unfortunately we are quite full already and we still have a couple of uh, other places to discover but if you want something really light and tasteful just come here, Barceloneta is probably your choice. And we are off to the next one. Hello guys, my name is Natalia De Rosova and I run this place uh, called Stall by Natalia De Rosova, which is located in the biggest uh, food market in Moscow and probably in Europe called Depot. In my place, the accent is on the local and seasonal Russian food, which we reinterpret in a more international uh, and particularly French and Asian way. Since I used to study in France and work in the Chinese restaurant, I like to mix Russian products, uh, French and uh, Asian techniques and a bit of the Asian flavors in my food. So one of the dishes that I was showing to the guys today is the sorrel ramen. Sorrel is a very traditional Russian uh, green kind of a salad and the soup is a very traditional Russian soup. It's a bit sour and it's a really nice and deep flavor to the dish. Um, why I call it ramen? Because I uh, have a Japanese slicer and I slice carrot and potato in the shape of the noodle. We add the egg, you can stop, and then we add a lot of greens, like the sorrel, wild Russian greens called nettle, and uh, the leaves of the beetroot. Uh, we add lots of herbs, and also we add a bit of green jalapeno pepper. The other dish that you tried today was the crab cake. It's a crab from Sakhalin, and we do a really nice crab cake with the sweet potato puree, with coriander, uh, red hot chili peppers and we serve it with the sweet green salad with the Asian dressing. I'm Semyon Nutil, chef of Simple Wine and Kitchen. Here we have everything about wine and uh, great food to complement the wine. It's a uh, beef tartar with uh, pickled uh, daikon, salted radish, uh, coriander and uh, horseradish. And the last stop for today is Simple Wine and Kitchen. This is a very cool place to actually spend the evening because they have a beautiful selection of wine and uh, you can even buy some wine from them because they have a, a shop over there as well. And all the menu uh, at the kitchen, they have to complement their wines because uh, Obviously this is what you want at the evening, especially uh, at the weekend, just to grab a couple of uh, glasses of wine and actually enjoy your food and um, nice uh, talk to your friends or family. So if you're looking for a perfect spot for that, this is the place to come. 
So guys, it was really fun to walk around this absolutely awesome place and to have an opportunity to meet a lot of different people and to try different food from the restaurants, cafes and uh, food courts here at Depot. And if you're in Moscow, just make sure to uh, come here and to try yourself. Uh, some of these amazing dishes. This is the end of today's video. We hope you liked it and if you want to support our channel make sure to click on subscribe button and if you want to see other videos from Moscow about uh, different places around the city make sure to click on the pop-up banner in the corner of the screen and we hope to see you guys very soon. Bye bye!